So good to have you with me this week on Word of the Week. Great, powerful verse. Great verse about faith. Romans 4, 17. And it says that, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before whom he believed even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. God wants you to use your mouth, speak faith, as Abraham did. He, 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 his body was dead. He had no sperm. A, a, Sarah had no eggs. Her body was dead. So he began to call those things that be not. There was no baby. There was no possibility. But he called as though there was. He was speaking faith into that other realm where every body part, every piece of food and money that we need comes out of that realm into the natural realm. But in order for him to do that, he first had to acknowledge that he didn't have it at the moment on location. And so oftentimes we get this confused whether what should we admit to? Should we admit to the diagnosis or should we deny the diagnosis? You know, Moses couldn't cross a sea that wasn't there. David couldn't hit a giant that didn't exist. You know, and Abraham couldn't have a, a baby and it'd be a miracle unless there was no possibility of the miracle. So what am I saying? I'm saying that calling those things that be not, the Bible does not say call those things that be as though they're not. There's a very fine line today, and that is this. Oftentimes we deny things because we're afraid, because we don't, want, we don't want them to be there. We're just wanting them not to be there isn't faith. I don't receive that. Well, that doctor's highly educated. So is that nutritionist. So is that cardiologist. So is that counselor. These are people that are trained in their field, in the natural field, and they know, they see. They know blood work, they know x-rays, and they know CAT scans. Just because something is there doesn't mean it has to stay there. And that's what this verse is about. It's not about denial. It's about saying, yeah, I see you, but I also see my God is bigger. I see the spot, but I see the healing power. You know, I see that bank account that's empty, but I see the God of prosperity. It's about calling those things that be not. There's no money there, I call it there. There's, there's no health there, I call health there. There's no way out there, I call a way out there. It's about calling in what isn't there to put it there, not denying what's already there. The fact that you acknowledge the enemy's presence, the fact that you acknowledge that there's a Red Sea or a Goliath or a lion's den or a fiery furnace. Notice what we do. We know all of these trials. What makes that trial big? Because we are aware of the enemy that they were facing. They were facing a fiery furnace. He slept with lions. He didn't say, I don't receive these lions. No, he slept with them and he came out alive. You don't have to deny anything. Your God's bigger than that. And so is your faith. Let it come out of your mouth this week. Don't let fear reign. Don't give fear another square inch of your soul. Begin to say, I see you. I know you're there, but you're not going to stay there. You're on your way out. Arthritis, you're on your way out. High blood pressure, you're on your way out. Cancer, it's over for you. Why? Because there's a name bigger than any condition that you have. That name is Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Speak that name and faith molecules are released into the atmosphere and you begin to change the dynamics of where you are and where you're headed. That's your word for the week.